So there's so many different answers, as you see in the chat, to these questions, and I'm not here to answer or offer the definitive word. Uh, the, there are, are other perspectives on belonging to consider. Uh, there's a wonderful talk by Dr. Margaret Clark on belonging recorded just a couple years ago and posted on the uh, uh, YMI, uh, YMI website as well. But I'd like to share what we have learned when we pose this question to hundreds of young people with developmental disabilities and their families who've been part of our various studies here at Vanderbilt. Uh, what is it that assures you that you belong in your faith community? And they shared with us that belonging was experienced when they were present and invited, when they were welcomed and known, accepted and supported cared for, befriended, needed, and loved. And I'll spend the rest of my time briefly sharing what each of these 10 dimensions means and why it matters, because I think there are some of the areas here in which your ministries may already be making great strides and can celebrate. And you may also see there's areas in which there's more work still to do. But very quickly, you'll see the story of what it means to belong from young people with disabilities resembles so closely what it means to belong that you've placed in the chat as well. 